China has argued it is still interested in post-Brexit trade with the UK however its demands have outraged a Brexiteer MP fearful Beijing would become the new Brussels. Tory MP and Brexiteer Tom Tegendhat lashed out at Beijing for their terms to allow the UK to trade with them in its post-Brexit future. Channel 4's Matt Fry questioned Mr. Tegendhat and Steve Sang, director of the SOAS China Institute, on the growing tension between the UK and China. Mr. Sang claimed China is happy for the UK to enjoy a good post-Brexit relationship, but it would be on the communist state's terms, not Britain's. Mr. Tegendhat raged at this and claimed he did not want a second Brussels after cutting ties with the EU. He argued China's trade demands were unacceptable as Britain is a free and individual state and would not be dominated by an international power. While on Channel 4, he said, we are absolutely not willing to do it on those terms. This is because those terms mean that the UK loses its ability to act as an independent nation. We would effectively be accepting dominance from Beijing. I see no point in taking back control from Brussels only to hand it to Beijing. Mr. Fry questioned whether China would be willing to continue confrontations with the UK in a trade agreement or whether they would become less hostile in future. The China expert argued China does still want a good relationship with the UK and is not 100% certain on a British confrontation. Mr. Sang said, I don't think they are set on confrontation. The way the Chinese ambassador put it is a very clear one. The Chinese government wants to have a good friendly relationship with the UK but they want it on their terms. As long as we accept Chinese terms and do what they say, they are very happy for us to benefit from the economic relationship. The question is are we prepared to do it on those terms? As the UK continues to look outwards beyond the EU, trade deals with countries around the world has become more important. Health Secretary Matt Hancock told Sky News on Wednesday morning that despite the growing frustration from China, the UK still intends to do trade deals with the nation in the future. He noted both countries are dedicated to benefiting economically and cutting ties with the EU better allows Britain to charter its own future. 